Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it's time for our next Saturday with Stacy. Oh, winter winter chicken. I've got it. It's right here. Winter <laughs> It's time for our next Saturday with Stacy. YouTube class number 345. It is almost 8 p.m. Friday night and I am just starting this. Fingers crossed it loads on time for our live chat tomorrow morning, but fingers crossed. Now, you hear me say you have options a lot. I know, it's one of my most favorite phrases. But I usually mean that for you, not for me. <laughs> Today, it seems I have options. I have so many options that I could probably do a five-hour YouTube on this product and still not show you everything I want to show you. Oh my goodness gracious. So I had to edit myself. Can you imagine? It was, it was frightening for me that I had to edit myself. But then I thought to myself, you know, what is it that you really bring to the table, Stacy? What is it that, that makes your YouTubes a little different than others? Because there are so many amazing creators out there, wonderful crafters who are so inspiring and talented. And so I'm gonna get to that and I'm gonna talk to you about the product that we're gonna use. I am going to tell you that this is definitely a class you want to take notes in. So I'm gonna pause for just a minute. I'm gonna give you my pause face so you can get a paper and pencil or at least jot down what YouTube this is because it really doesn't matter whether you buy this product from me or not or you get it from your favorite local craft store who's hopefully opening up and you go shop mom and pop. What matters is that if you do get it, wherever you get it, you're able to come back to this so you know how to use it. Okay, so let me do winter, winter chicken dinner because we really don't have any time to dilly-dally today. No, no, no. <laughs> chop, chop. I hear in the back of my head. Chop, chop, Stacy. This is probably going to be the quickest, the quickest let's tilt on down ever. <laughs> okay, winter, winter chicken dinner. Our first, and this is from YouTube number 344, which was the... <laughs> oh, the Chow Bella. That's right. The Chow Bella and the Hero Arts and the inks and the peel off stickers, the lines. Oh my gosh, they were fabulous. And we're going to continue to carry them. They're not something we're not going to carry. Uh, the, the peel offs with the borders. Amazing. So our first winner winner chicken dinner is and you're going to win a $25 gift certificate to SMS, which I if you have an account with us, I have already put into your account. Yay. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. It's there for you. So our first winner winner chicken dinner is Lori. Lori Mosher or Moshire? Mosher? Moshire? Hello, Lori. Is that you? Congratulations if it is. Wahoo! But you're not alone. No, no, no. Our second winner winner chicken dinner is Anne. Hello, Anne. Anne Skipper. Hi, Anne. How are you today? Are you excited? Are both of you going, wait, what? What did she say my name? Back it up, play it again, back, call your, whoever's quarantined with you in your house, call them so they can hear it. Yes, Lo Lori Mosher, or Mo Moshire, and Ann Skipper, congratulations. You know what we have to do now, right? Okay, get your family members, because they gotta do it with us. You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, cut you for you. All right. You don't even have to claim your price. I'm just putting the $25 there for you to spend any way that makes your heart happy. Congratulations. If you want a chance to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner, put a comment on this YouTube. Hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. I'm never going to get to 100,000 subscribers if you don't hit subscribe. And then leave a comment on this YouTube. Okay, so I had to edit myself in this YouTube and I wasn't exactly sure how to do that. So I sat here for a good hour just pondering. Literally, I sat here for an hour pondering. What is it that I I bring to the YouTubes that may be a little different than somebody else? I can certainly show you how to use this product. I can, I can, bam, 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 beautiful hello, but does that really teach you? And I think that what what I bring to the table when I'm doing these classes is that they're just that. They're a class, not a demo, not a, a, a sales pitch. I'm here to teach you and hope that you continue to create because if you continue to craft, then, then 
I still have a job and you make beautiful things to give to people who then appreciate and could be inspired by what you've done to start crafting. So, so this YouTube is a lot of teaching. There's no question about it. And I'm hoping that in the teaching, not only do I sometimes show you what to do and help you learn what to do, but also sometimes what not to do with a product. It's better you see me screw it up and say, okay, don't do this with yours. Because then when you do go out shopping at that local mom and pop shop or with us or whomever you shop with, you know how to, how to use the tools properly. How to, just because you see me do it, sure, I can make it look so simple, but I want you to feel confident. I want you to have that, that chutzpah to, <laughs> to, to get in there and try. And if I've given you the information about the products that you need, you can walk confidently to your craft table and say, I can do it because I know how. So I had to edit myself. Again, it could be a five hour YouTube, but I think when we're done today, you're going to stand up and say, I can do that because I know how. We'll see. I hope so. I have got Marabou for you. I've got Spellbinders for you. I've got Sizzix for you. I've got Simply Defined for you. A little bit of everything and I don't even know where to start. So I'm just going to start at the beginning and I have to assume that not all of you are seasoned crafters. So I'm going to show you super quickly some die cutting and then we're going to move on. I am so glad you're here with me today. It just, I think we're going to have a great time. All right, no dilly dallying. Down we go. Bye. I'm not even going <laughs> to have samples in the beginning like I normally do. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, so what's here on my table? This is a Sizzix Big Shot machine. Uh, they make the Big Shot, the Big Kick, the Vagabond, the Big Shot Plus, the Big Shot Pro. Uh, you could also use a Spellbinders machine. We're using a Spellbinders die. I think it's important you know that if you buy a Spellbinders die, you can use it with a Sizzix Big Shot or Big Kick machine or a Vagabond or a Pro. Likewise, if you buy a Sizzix die, you can use those dies with a, a Spellbinder Platinum 6 or a Platinum 8. You, you have options. Today, I'm playing with what's called Steel Rule Dies. Steel as in the metal, rule as in R-U-L-E, and then dies. These dies are different than any other dies on the market, and there are not many manufacturers who make them. Sizzix, Spellbinders really are the two largest companies that make steel rule dies. What, make these, what makes these dies so different than everybody else, like the thin dies, even like my dies, my Simply Defined and Refined are wafer dies. These dies actually have a blade inside. You can almost see it. So if I were to step on this, it, oh, look at my fingers. You can tell I've been inky already. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> If I step on this, it might go ouch because there's an actual blade in there that will cut paper. Now, steel rule dies usually are a more simple design than the very, very intricate wafer dies. Why? Because somebody sits there and they have to bend the blade around the frame by hand. This isn't machine made, these are by hand, and there's foam on top so that the blade sits down in. So you can't, I mean, you have to put some pressure on it, obviously, before you can feel anything, and that's there for safety. Now, steel rule dies are very thick, and they need to have that thickness to put that blade in. Why would you want a die that has a blade? Well, do you want to cut fabric, felt, foam, chipboard, uh, thin aluminum, leather, six pieces of cardstock at what time? For that, you need a steel rule die. And these were the dies that came out first. I mean, before anything else, there was, if you all remember Sizzix and they had green and yellow and red, the green were the small ones, the yellows were the mediums and the reds were the big ones and then blues were alphabets and they were all thick like this. This one's going to cut tags out of just about anything 
you can foam core. What, what do you want to? What do you want to cut? You're going to be able to, for the most part, use a steel rule die to make that happen. So I'm going to do this really quickly, just so you see. And um, oh, let's just take a piece of white chipboard. So I did come out with chipboard, six by six chipboard, and then a smaller size. This size is what I'm most excited about because it fits an A2 size card perfectly, leaving just a little bit of a border on the outside of an A2 size card. It's fabulous, I'm excited about that. But I do have chipboard out for you, and really the only reason why I did it was for this YouTube. Uh, now, if you're cutting, it's important that you have a do not cut plate on your bottom. Do not cut plate all the way down on your platform. And what that does is it allows your, your sandwich to go through nice and smooth. When you're using a steel rule die, it's always nice to have it face up. So you don't wanna see the Spellbinders logo and then put your paper on top of it. It's not gonna cut anything. You need to have that foamy side facing you. And then you need to have your chipboard or your paper Whatever side you want to see on your finished project, that goes face down. So if I wanted to have a craft tag and I wanted to see a craft tag on my finished product, I would put the craft side down. But I don't. I want the white side. And why does it matter? Well, because when you roll this through and it cuts, it leaves a slight bevel all the way around the die and I or down around the die cut, and I will show you. Now, spell binders has been very kind to us. We have about 25 different steel rule dies on sale right now for this YouTube that I thought would work well with the product I'm gonna be using a little bit later. The dies range from $19.99 to $21.99. We have them on sale for $3.99 and $4.99. I know, crazy, right? Really, okay? Seriously, they were $21.99, $19.99, now $3.99 and $4.99. So if you like steel rule dies, now's a good time. Bye. <laughs> okay. So first thing I'm going to do is put my, my do not cut plate down. And it doesn't matter if you're using a big shot, a big kick, a vagabond, a pro, a plus, a spellbinders platinum machine. It's all the same. Can you use this in a grand caliber? No. Can you use steel rule dies in a Gemini machine? No, they are only, those machines are only made for your thin dies. I've got my do not cut plate down. I've got my die face up. I've got my white chipboard face down. And then my cut plate. Can you see all the cuts in there? You always want one cut plate and one do not cut plate because that's going to allow you to slide through your machine nice and smooth there we go and I'm gonna roll 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 there might be a few little creaks and cracks but that's okay I'm gonna get to the end and then because I'm using chipboard because it's heavy I'm just gonna roll 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 back creaks and cracks are okay you just want to send it on through and I have cut myself who am I gonna there we go I've cut myself two tags out of heavy chipboard done easy peasy this is not lightweight chipboard this isn't like the chipboard you would find it uh, that, that you're um, cereal boxes are made out of. No, this is much heavier. They actually call this medium weight. I wouldn't call it medium weight, but um, but that's what it's labeled. So I have used my die to cut heavy. That's what steel rule dies are for. When you see these thick, chunky dies, you need to know that while the designs may be more simple, the options of what you can cut are almost limitless. It is amazing what you can do with these. 
So now if you've got a Fabby machine from from Ellison from Sizzix, yes, you can use your Fabby machine with anybody's dies. If you've got a Vintage machine from Sizzix, yes, they're all the same machine. They just have somebody's different name on them. Do you have an, a Stamping Up machine from Sizzix? Yes, of course, you can use everybody's dies. It's the same machine, just branded with somebody else's name on it. That's it. I mean, there was one time, once a, a, a talk about having a Simply Defined machine. <laughs> Could you even imagine? <laughs> so I don't want you to be afraid of using other machines with your steel rule die. It Those machines just have to be able to take a thick die. And if they came with any type of thick platform, this die is taking the place of that thick platform. Okay, I'm going to set this down and I'm going to move along because I've got a lot to do. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about is what we're going to be focusing on today. And I'm going to tilt in just a little bit more. Oh, it's almost, it really is almost overwhelming for me. Okay, just quickly. So here are just some of, oh, you can't see these, but some of the dies that Spellbinders has. Again, $3.99 and $4.99, I think they are. Anyway, okay. So on my table is... 20 new colors of marabou marbling. 20 new colors. There's an original set of colors, and I can't remember if there's 24 colors to them, but um, but those are those have been out for quite some time. These are brand new. There are nine that are opaque. There are, oh, that one's, oh, this is my crystal. That one's not new. There are four that are neon, and there are seven that are called color shifts. I call them color shifters, but color shift. What marbling does is stunning. Okay, so now I will show you something. What marbling does is stunning. It's, it's stunning. It really is absolutely beautiful. And it only takes water and, and these, these marbling liquids. Now, I will tell you, a bottle of this is really inexpensive and it goes a really long way. Like this may last you, I mean, you use such a little bit. It has a little dipper, a little dropper on top. You'll see it. It goes such a long way. But look at that. And depending on how I move it, that color shifter changes from a purple to a pink, a bluey. They are amazing. And this is on the chipboard. Oh, look at even the back looks cool. This is on the chipboard that I just cut for you because my chipboard comes in white, black, craft, and then an assorted. So, why is it so important to know the difference between these? Well, and then I have three that are original. These are original colors and one that's called crystal. Why is it important to know the difference? I could show you how to use these and you would have fun and there's some definite <gasps> moments, but unless you understand the difference between all of these, you will not be as successful as you can. So, First things first, I'm going to play with some of the original colors, not the new ones, the original ones. And they've come up with new sets. This one is the set here. They originally sold them just open stock where you could buy, oh, Stacy, that was bad. Oh, that could have been really bad. Now you know why my hands look like that. And all I have to do is wash my hair and it'll come off. So they sold the original colors in open stock where you could just buy one, one, one. But then they got kind of smart, Marabou did, and they put packs together where they took three colors that worked well together and paired them, teamed them up in a package so that if you were new to marbling and had never seen this before and weren't sure what colors to buy, well, they've got four packs that are of coordinating colors that work well together. And then one of them is like the metallic -y. Oh, the black and the silver and the gold. Oh, yummy. So I want to start with the three original colors 
before I get to the 20 new ones because with this you're going to use water that's it water basic water but what 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 water can you really use hmm it's not just about getting it out of your tap I have two different bowls here this water has been room temperature it is not overly hard water. It's tap out of, out of the sink here at my office at, at Scrapbooking Made Simple at the shop, but it's not terribly hard water. If you have super hard water, you're going to want to use distilled water. This water is icy cold. Icy, icy cold. And I want you to see what happens when you use two different temperatures of water whether both of them be distilled or not, the temperature makes a difference when using marbling. It really does. So let me, I'm using straws. <laughs> let me shake this up. And this is my red and this is my yellow. And what is marbling? It's almost like a liquid plastic. Let me drop it in, drop, 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 drop. And let me drop some yellow in, drop, 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 drop. And now what you'd like to be able to do is swirl it. Take your, your, um, your Q-tip, your uh, old pin, an old pair of, well, these are good tweezers, but um, anything that you have a, a, a toothpick and you want to be able to swirl it. But can you see, let me zoom in a more. This is not swirling. This is picking it up. That is not what you're looking for. No, 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 no. That water is so cold that it is causing the chemical, whatever it is in here, to uh, solidify faster than you can swirl and get your paper or your plastic or your glass or your leather or your ceramic or your chipboard in. See, it's not going to let me, it's going to start, it's pulling it up. And I don't want it to pull, pull up. I need it to, um, I need it to stay open a little bit longer than that. See how quick that pulled up? Now, do you have to clean your water after each use? No, no you don't. I could let this get to room temperature and I just take a yucky piece of whatever and I use that to clean my water up. And you can see that there's some on there. Clean my water and get all the little, little bits and pieces out. You do not have to clean your water. In fact, don't clean your water after every use. You don't need to do that. I'm gonna move this one just a little bit over here and I'm gonna come here. This one is a little bit more room temperature than this one. And I'm gonna drop, 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 drop. And drop and Swirl, 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 swirl. And let's take this one. And I'm just gonna dunk it in. One, two, three, A, B, C. Look at that. And I still should be able to get another dip. Let's try. One, two, three, A, B, C. Now, the chipboard is wet. I didn't get the top. The chipboard is wet. So when the chipboard dries, it's going to go back to the white color that it was. But you need to use the right temperature water or it's gonna solidify on you too fast, much too fast. Now, eventually, if I let this sit here, it too will start to solidify. It's starting to form a little skin on the top of the water. So what do I do if I want to change my colors? 
I grab my piece of chipboard or an old piece of cardstock or whatever you have, and I clean up my water. And I just run it through and pick up all, and you can see them floating on top. And just by running a piece of chipboard through, or a piece of old cardstock, doesn't matter if it gets wet, you're gonna use it again and again and again. And now my, oh, I can still see one more. Now my water is clean. And I could, oh, there we go. I could start, I could start again. So I could take my red again. And I could take maybe a little bit of my orange. And I could take a little bit of my yellow. And I could swirl, swirl, swirl. And then I could dip on in. Ooh, so pretty. And when it dries, it will dry flat. You won't have little, it won't look like it's wet anymore. In fact, here is one that is completely dry. In this I used neons. Marbling is beautiful. It is beautiful and it's easy. In fact, I'm going to take the, you, you have the idea now. I can put this away, right? Don't use cold water. So let me clean this out because I don't know that I can get another pour. I can see that it's starting to make a skin. Can you see how it's, can you see that? It's starting to make a little bit of a skin and I just want to clean that up. The better you get with this and the faster you go, the more, the more times you can dip with, um, with just one shake, with one pour. Love, love, love. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one aside. Now, I've been using the, the older colors. And now I wanna bring out some of the newer colors. And I'm gonna start with the neons. And you're gonna say, ooh, neon, not my thing. Even if it's not your thing, I need you to watch this because I need you to see the difference. I need you to see why the labeling is important and how to understand the labeling. So I've got four different colors of neons, which are beautiful. Oh my gosh, wait till you see the samples that were made with the neons. And I know some of you are like, I'm just not that neon-y type of person. It doesn't matter. They are fun and, and mm, they're just bright and happy and they make you smile. You cannot help but smile. So let's take, ooh, let's take, oh, let's take some of my die cut. Let's take some of the chipboard tags and stuff. Let me pull some of these over here so I have them handy. I'm gonna take the pink. I'm gonna take the, I shook it up, and I'm gonna take the lid off so that they're ready to go. You don't wanna shake them up and then put them down and then take the lid off because once you put it in the water, it's going to start reacting with the water and it's gonna to wanna to start solidifying. And do I wanna do the green? I don't know, I haven't done the green yet. Let's play with the green, hmm? Ooh, ooh, ooh. So let's start with a little bit of the green and just a couple shakes and then maybe a little pink and then maybe a little orange. And then let's swirl, 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 and let's see what we get. Zoop. Oh, not too much green. Just a little green, but not too much green. Now, when this dries, it's going to look far more like this much more vibrant. But remember, you got chipboard wet. It just got wet. 
Can you double dip? Sure. I could kind of go around here and you can see that there's a skin in there, but what if I wanted more green on here? So I'm picking up all that skin and let's wipe that off and let's see if we can get a little more green in here. Now, I don't know what's going to happen when we double dip. It might be too much. I don't know. Let's get some real good green in there. And just a little bit of pink, just so it has something to swirl with. And swirl, swirl, swirl. And let's try again. And dip and pull up. I got a little more green in there. A little more green all around the edges. And pull up. And then I can let it dry. And it won't take too long to dry, but it is wet. It's not that the marbling is wet. It's that the material, the chipboard is wet. That's what's going to take time to dry. The marbling dries in, oh, just a matter of, you know, 15, 20, 30 seconds, maybe a minute and it's done. But what stays wet is the paper that you're using, the chipboard that you're using. That's what remains wet. Now, let me wipe it off. So I did that one on white paper. What if I did it on black paper. What would I get? Well, let's use some pinks and let's use some green. And let's swirl, swirl, swirl. And let's try it on black and see what I get. You ready? I'm going to dip in I'm going to pull out. So you always want to use something that is deeper than what the material is you're working with. That didn't do much of anything, did it? Honestly, I dipped in. You saw me. I went right in and right out. In and out. And there really isn't anything there. Why is that? Well, because the first 20 colors that they came out with and the neons are a dye based ink, not an opaque based ink. So while it looks amazing on white, stunning on white, absolutely gorgeous on white, when you go to use a dark color, you're not going to get the same effect because it's a dye-based ink, a dye-based product in there versus a pigment-based ink. Now, if you remember our ABCs and CDPs of ink, you know that dye-based ink tends to seep in and wants to be absorbed into the paper, whereas a pigment-based ink, so C for chalk, D for dye, P for pigment, A, B, C. So C is the closest to the letter A. That means it dries super fast, super fast. If you're using, if you're trying to figure out what inks to use when you're stamping, think of your A, if you know your A, B, C's, you know your C, D, P's. C stands for chalk ink and C is the closest letter to A. So it dries super fast. Then you have D for dye based ink. Dye is right next to C really close to C. So it also dries really fast and it seeps into the into the, the paper or the chipboard. And, and so then you get to pigment based ink. Now pigment, you've got to go see D E F G H I J K L M N O. And you finally get to P. That means pigment takes much longer to dry because it sits on top of the paper or the chipboard or whatever you're using. Pigment-based ink is often used for metallics and, and um, because it will sit on top as opposed to absorbing in. And these, these marblings, they absorbed into the black as opposed to sitting on, on top like a pigment-based ink will do. How do you know the difference? 
Well, the bottles will help you. Gosh, I hope you can see it on my bottle. So you've got a little green label there, but it doesn't say anything. You've got a little green label, but it doesn't say anything. If it doesn't say anything, it's a dye-based product. Then we get into some of the new colors, and lo and behold, what does that little green label say? It says opaque. Yep. What does this green label say? It says opaque. That means that this is going to sit on top of the paper. So let's play again. Let me clear this again. And this is why notes are so important. I know there's lots of YouTubes on marbling out there. I know there is. But I don't know, since I don't watch anybody else's YouTubes, and God bless their pee picking heart if they did, if they explain to you the difference between the different colors and types of marbling at Marabou. Marabou has given you an entire assortment, ones that are gonna be more transparent, which are the dye-based inks, the green labels that don't say anything. But then they're gonna give you ink that is more opaque, which is going to give you a different look, a different dimension to your product. So let's play with that really quick. When I say really quick, well, you know I don't mean that. <laughs> okay, so let's take a couple of these and let's take this one and this one and this one. These are three new colors that are all opaque. I know I don't say it wrong, pro uh, properly pronounce opaque, but let it be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the caps off so that I'm ready to go. And you do want to be in a well-ventilated area when playing with these. You do. Okay, let's start with some... Ooh, that was too much. That was a lot of purple. Holy smokes, artichokes. Lavender. Let's go with lavender and a little bit of blue and a little bit of green. And let's just swirl, 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 swirl. Let's get some lavender in there. Swirl, swirl, swirl. And then let's dip. And let's just go one, two, three, A, B, C. Ooh, ah, right? Okay, let's see if I've got time to do another one. Oh, let's do a leaf. Let's see if I can get another one in here. Ready? One, two, oh, see, it started to make my, oh, see? See, it started to make my film. I probably should have swirled it a little bit. Now, is this ruined? Heavens, no! You just get rid of the little goopies on the side. No, I'm gonna let this dry, and it's going to be beautiful. And again, it's not the marbling that is wet. It's the actual chipboard that is causing it to be wet because I just dunked it right in. Ooh, ah, right? Very cool. I mean, that's really very cool. So let's clean it up. I haven't changed my water yet. Now I may add water to it because every time I dip, I'm using water and every time I clean, I'm using water because it's being absorbed into the chipboard. So there may come a point where I have to add water to it and you can certainly clean it after a certain amount of time. It's up to you. I just, I just, you can change your water. I mean, I just kind of clean it up and let it fly by the seat of my pants because that's the kind of girl I am. All right, so now let's use the same colors. Some green, and you can see a dropper. It's got a dropper on it. It, it doesn't use much at all. Some blue, oh, love that blue, and a little bit of light lavender. And let's swirl, 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 just a little bit. Swirl, 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 and then let's dunk. Now on a black, it's going to show up better because it is more opaque. 
Let's redunk this one. Well, got a little bit of a skip, but that's okay. That's the one that I had originally done in the neon. I just redipped it. Totally redipped it. And did the back too. So the opaque is going to show more on a dark color than the than the dye based. The green labels that have nothing are dye based. Green labels that have nothing are dye based. And the labels that green labels that have nothing. And the labels that say opaque are going to be less transparent. This is less transparent than this one. This is going to be more transparent because it's a dye based and these colors are going to be a little less transparent because it's opaque. Can you mix them together? Of course you can. All of this product is meant to mix and match. It's meant to give you highs and lows and depth perception. And the best way to get that is by mixing your transparent or your dye based with your opaque based because then some of it has that translucent transparent look to it while others are a more solid feel. Absolutely they're meant to work together. But that's not the only, let me put my lids on, those are not the only new colors they came out with. So there's nine. Did I just put that on the wrong one? I bet I did. I bet I did. Holy moly. Yep. Okay, so there's nine new opaque colors. Some of them are metallics. There. Now, at least if I tip them over, they're not going to fall over the place. Some of them are beautiful, beautiful metallics. And let's see if we can... Let me get a new one and let me clean this out. So I got a new piece of chipboard to clean it out just to make sure there's no stragglers behind. Now you may take this and you may, this has been my, some of you are going to keep this and you're just going to keep putting stuff on top of it and then you're going to die cut something fabulous out of it or you're going to stamp something on top of it and it's going to be absolutely amazing. I know you. <laughs> Oh, see, and as this one dries, it's just becoming beautiful. It's the chipboard that's wet. The marbling is dry. Marbling's done. It's the chipboard that remains wet. So let's see. Let's see what I get with this. about oh see I should have had it open my mistake and let's just put a little bit of this in here so I can swirl see I wasn't ready swirl 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 and I'm gonna just put a little bit more and now I'm gonna dunk 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 and see what I get Oh, so pretty. Can you see the shimmer and the shine to it? So pretty. With a little bit of that green at my tips. And as it dries, oh, and then you've got the back side. Which side do you like better? You have options. And as this dries, that metallic is going to become even more metallic as the paper and the chipboard dries, the color will become more pronounced. So I'm gonna set that there just so I can wait and see what that looks like when it's done. Now I'm gonna clean up my mess and we're gonna move on. Look at that. Right? Is that fabulous? And because this is the exact, this is a, made for an A2 card base, you could do this and leave that and put this on an A2 card base, wait for it to dry. You could stamp a few things, put a sentiment, and your card is done. And this was the cleanup. Okay, 
So there's nine colors in opaque that have just released. There are four in the neons that have just released. But then there's a whole nother world over here. And they call these color shift colors. They're metallics. They have, instead of a, a flat green label or a green label that says opaque, they have this, uh, this um, metallic green label. And that lets you know that they are color shift uh, colors. Now, what does a color shift color do? Well, if you look at it one way, it's one color glitter. And if you look at it another way, it's a different color glitter. And they're so pretty. They absolutely have to be shaken up because the mica is at the bottom of the jar. And if you look at them, they all look the same. These are three totally different colors. But because the mica, they all look the same when you're looking at them. So you have to shake them and you have to look at the lid to give you an idea of the colors that it changes to. Like this one is more of a purpley blue and this one looks more like a greeny blue. But you have to shake them well so that all of that mica is off the bottom. You don't want to see any of that mica on the bottom anymore. You want it to get mixed into that solution really, really well. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, that one's good. This one's good. This one's still a little too. So let's play with these. And let's pull maybe an opaque, um, what's this one? Oh, oh, I don't know. We'll have to just play. So I'm shake, shake, shaking. And I'm going to put in this, this taupey color. Rose taupe is what it is. And maybe I'll throw in a little bit of blue. So let's do a little bit of blue. And what do I want to dip? I'm going to dip this one. I'm going to a little bit of blue. A little bit of rose taupe. And then my color shifter. Oh, oh Stacy. Okay, that was a lot. <laughs> I shook with the lid down or with the lid off. But boy, you can certainly see it in there, can't you? So let's get it going, get it going, get it going, and then let's dip. Oh, right? But let's do it on a white. While I still have time, let's just go ahead and let's dip it right into a white. So you're able to see the difference. Crazy, right? And then depending on how I move this, that purple changes. Um, almost on the side to a, gosh, can you see that kind of goldy? It's coming up go oh, greeny and goldy. It just depends upon how you move it. And yes, you can still see it on the white. You can see that beautiful iridescence on the white. Same colors, different colored paper. Color shifter. You can use it, if you're going to use it on white paper, you can absolutely use it with, uh, with the transparent ones. If you're going to use it on a dark colored paper, you need to use it with more of the opaque marbling. Let's clean it up. I shook that with the lid off. It's lucky it didn't go everywhere. Okay, so let's put that over there. And I'm gonna put that lid on really good. And this one seems to be, this one seems to be ready to go. Let's try that. And let's try that with the red and see what happens. 
on white. Can you see it glisten? Can you see it just sparkle and shimmer and ooh and ah? And let's try it on a white tag. Can you see the shimmer coming through? Look at, is that fabulous? Can you see the shine and the shimmer? Now, if I do it on something black, I'm not going to get that red as well as I would like it. See, I get that iridescent. Look at it. It almost looks like an oil slick. But that red, that red is gone. Because that red is a dye based. It doesn't have anything on that green label. Oh, but it's fab. Look at that color. Oh, is that amazing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got to do something with this. <laughs> I just want to die cut something out of it. <gasps> Ooh, so pretty. So, so far, we've used the, the original, the original colors. And I want to say there's 24 of them, maybe. So we played with three original colors that are dye based. Then we moved into neons that are also a dye based, giving you that translucent, transparent look to it. And this was this was our original colors. Then we moved into our super pretty opaque colors. Well, actually, now you can really start to see that color shifter come up on that. And that's on the white. Totally cool. So opaque colors. That's a color shifter. Mm -mm -mm. That are a little bit more noticeable when you're doing it on black. But what if we wanted to change what we're dipping? What if you don't want to just do chipboard? What if you want to do something more? Okay, let's do something more. So let me clean this out again. And let's quickly take some of the Sizzix opulent paper, the white, it's actually ivory. It's not ivory, <laughs> it's white, but We've had the Sizzix opulent papers for a while now. We're almost sold out of them. So I thought I, I would play with it on this YouTube to see how it worked. And it is beautiful. So let me take the opulent paper. What is Sizzix opulent paper? If you haven't seen it yet, um, so they have it in four or five different packs. We did the rose gold and the charcoal. We did the gold and the silver. And now we're doing the white. We are out of everything except for the white. It is specialty paper. There are five different specialty papers in each pack. There's a glitter, there's a mirror, there's a suede soft finish, there's a metal brushed, there's a pearl. And so you get 10 sheets of all five papers. And I have alcohol ink on these. I have stamped on them. I have colored them. I have die cut with them. Uh, the white, the white is so purposeful. There's so many different things you can do with them. And if you watch the last four or five YouTubes, you will see I have used it again and again and again. Not because it's, it's, you know, <sighs> Not because it's by Sizzix, it's because the paper, the paper's a specialty paper, which means it has coating on it or it has an adhesive to hold the glitter, which gives you the opportunity to play with it differently than you would a cardstock. It is amazing paper. And because all five of them are, all five colors in each pack are specialty finished, you can take those and just Yes, you can make invitations with them. Sure you can, but there's so much more you can do with it. 
So I have, I have cut up some of the gloss paper that it comes with and some of the glitter paper that it comes with. So you would get 10 sheets of glitter, 10 sheets of gloss, 10 sheets of the satin or pearlized finish, 10 sheets of the brushed metal finish, and 10 sheets of the soft finish brush, oh, pearl. So there's pearlized, a soft touch finish, which is almost like a suede, water coloring on it, oh, yum. And then the glitter, the mirror, or the glossy, anyway. It's wonderful paper. So I wanted to play with these and see how these would work. Let's do that, shall we? So what if I took the original colors and I played with these? Shake, 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 shake. Drip, 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 drip. Shake, 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 shake. Drip, 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 drip. Swirl, 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 swirl. Now you don't have to use a tub this big by any means. A smaller tub, if you're using smaller things, is better. But for the camera purposes, I wanted you to be able to see everything. Now, dip, 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 dip. It's fabulous on the glossy paper. It's so good. <laughs> and in the paper, because it's coated, see, I was able to get two dips. I think I'm able to get one more. Because the paper's coated, it's able to stand up to the water. Go for it, right? What could happen? What's the worst that could happen is that it doesn't work. So the first dip, the second dip, the third dip, and every time, can't you just see putting something right there? Oh, it's just lovely. All done with the Sizzix paper. Is it gonna curl? Yes, you just got paper wet, but it's also going to flatten out because it's a coated paper. So much fun. So the the glossy is fabulous, but wait, it gets better. You're like, no, really? Yeah, really, it gets better. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me clear this out. Let me clear this out. There is one other color that I have not talked to you about. It is an original color. It is called Crystal. We sell Crystal like three to one. So if we sell one color, we sell three bottles of crystal to every one color. Why? Because this is the color that doesn't have any color. If I were to take, if I were to take um, some of my marble and I put it in my bucket and I go to swirl it, but I only have one color. I only have one color. And then I take my chipboard or whatever I'm going to do and I put it in there. I only have one color. That's what you're going to get. It's going to coat almost the whole thing in one color. And if that's what you like, by all means, you can keep dipping so you can get darker colors and lighter colors. But it isn't going to give you that swirly, fabulous effect. Or if I only have one color, and I want to do a lay down feature, maybe I want to just lay it down. dip it that way. That's kind of what you're going to get. Maybe that works for you. But 
What if you wanted to just use one color and have that fabulous swirly? That's where crystal comes in. It's the color without color. It lets you use one color of marbling and still get all the swirls and the, the unique elements that the marbling has to offer. It's wonderful. So let's take, let's go ahead and take some of this, the glossy paper, and let's go ahead and let's do maybe some of that blue and maybe some a little bit of yellow. Yeah, maybe yellow, no, maybe, maybe orange. Oh, the blue and the orange. And then let's throw in a little bit of the crystal. Well, let's just do one color. Let's do one color. Let's do the orange so you can see the one color. So one color. And then you'll be able to see when I drop this that it opens up. It pushes that other marbling color out of the way, allowing me to then come in and do my swirl, which then lets me come in and Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I mean, yes, you can do this, sure, but you can do this if you have the crystal. Oh, makes my heart happy. It does, it does, it does. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I got white chipboard. I don't know if I, I don't know if it's too late. We'll try. So there, it left that whole part. Look at that. That's the crystal. That's what, oh, I love this little whoop. Woo! <laughs> That's what crystal allows you to do. It allows you to leave negative space for your background. Whatever your background color is, it moves the other marbling color out of the way, giving you an opportunity to leave negative space and make something fabulous. And then this is on the glossy paper from Sizzix. And when it dries, it's so pretty because you you maintain the gloss of the glossy paper. Ooh, happy, happy, happy. Okay, so now what happens, let's clean it up. Now what happens if I use the glitter paper? And I think I might add just a little bit more water and everything. So my water bucket here is from the dollar store. My water bucket here is from the dollar store. Um, the other stuff that I have to play with is going to be, well, from the dollar store. I think I'm going to play with the neons. Let's play with the pink and the crystal. Where did I put it? Hello. Come back. Oh, right here. Hello. Nice to see you. So let's play. And now I have the glitter paper. So let's put some pink in there. Zoop, 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 zoop. Sound effects required. Zoop, zoop, zoop. And it's like little tiny droplets that it does. So one of these bottles is going to last you quite some time. And let's swirl, 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 swirl. And I don't know. Let's see what we get. Let's cut this in half and see what we get. Uh, right? Yay! Look at that swirl right in the middle of it. And because it's specialty paper, the glitter maintains the glitter. It does. It's amazing. It is. So let's take and let's add more color. I want more color. I want it to be bold and fabulous. Let's get some serious pink going on in there. So let's clean it out. And let's get some, let's get some orange. And where's my glitter paper? Let's get some orange in here. 
And let's get some pink in here. And let's get some crystal in there so it leaves some negative space and maybe just a little more orange right there. And let's swirl, swirl, swirl. I could probably do a half a dozen things in here. I've got so much. But let's swirl, swirl, swirl. And then let's dip, dip, dip. Right? It's amazing. It truly is. And because it's specialty paper, yes, the paper is wet. Yes. The marbling is almost dry. The paper is what's going to take time to dry, not the marbling. Marbling's already dry. You just have to wait for the paper to dry. And if you have a heat tool, you can heat tool it. But on the gloss, on the glitter, it adds so much. Now I'm probably too far gone. Yeah, too far gone. Oh, I don't know. See, it's got a little gloopy here, but I'd let that dry and I'd use it. So it used crystal up here and crystal down there, kept the, kept the marbling away from that area and let it be a negative space. It's so pretty. So then let's just add, let's just add three or four colors. And let's do the pink. I'm gonna put the crystal here for just a minute and let's do the yellow. So let's go zoop, 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 zoop. And, oh, that wasn't the right yellow, but that's okay. Let's try the pink and see what happens. And let's try a little neon, orange. So I've got regular yellow, not even neon yellow. And let's kind of swirl, swirl, swirl. And then let's take a piece of my and let's dip so this time there's no crystal oh. <laughs> my little fingerprints at the top Shoop. now they're gone what do you think of that and that glitter is going to come through can you imagine all the different combinations you can use? And I still have time, so maybe I can get a piece of my gloss in there. Let's see if I can get a piece of gloss in here. And let's just go this way and let's see what we get. One, two, three, A, B, C. Oh, a little bit of a, okay, see that's got a goopy at the bottom. Just go zoop. Goopy gone. <laughs> So pretty. And then as it dries, it's the paper that's drying. I don't know, I didn't get the top, so let's pretend I did the top and let's just go there. Ta-da! And as it dries, it's very light pink here to a very intense yellow. There, I added a little more yellow right to the bottom. You have options. Can you see why I was going crazy trying to figure out what to show you in this YouTube? The Sizzix paper is stunning. The chipboard is stunning because it holds up to the water. It's just beautiful, but you can only do the chipboard if you've got either chipboard shapes or you have, um, you have a steel rule die to cut that chipboard into the shapes you want. Okay, let's clean that one up. So 20 new colors, but what else can you do with it besides <laughs> paper? Oh, what can't you do with it? Honest to goodness gracious. Um, Let's shake this one up really good and let's see what we get. So 
So maybe I use this one and um, some, ooh, maybe I'll use some gold over here. Or, um, gosh, I should have pulled the gold out. So maybe I'll just use this one in some crystal. Gold, this and gold would have been beautiful because the gold is opaque, so it'd be absolutely gorgeous. But let's throw some of that color shifter in there and just a little crystal. And, oh, I don't know. Let's go. Dollar store. Have no idea what we're going to get. Dip, 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 dip. Out, 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 out. And I have marbleized my dollar store votive. Dip, dip, dip. Now, what if I wanted to? What if I wanted to? You're like, no, don't. Uh, added just a tinge of pink, but not enough because, again, why? The pink is dye based. If I want it to look like a color, I have to use something that is more opaque. But I didn't ruin it. It's fab. And then you just let it dry, wipe off the bottom, give it time to dry. But what if I did, oh, let's see. What if I did, hmm, clear it off. And let's grab, let's grab that one. Okay, so let's use red, 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 red. Love red, 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 red. Let's shake, 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 shake. And let's drop, drop, drop. And drop, drop, drop and swirl 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 get that red in there and oh dollar tree and dip 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 oh i need to do the back side Oh, what do you think? Dollar Tree. Amazing, right? Glass. It's going to dry. You're going to be able to put a candle in there. It's got the shimmer of the iridescent of that color shifter in there. Beautiful. Okay, so do you remember? I got to clean up. I got to clean up. Where's my cleanup stuff? Oh, right here. Okay, get a new one. I had to clean up. Do you remember when we did the Stamparia plaques? See, look at this, isn't that fab? Even the cleanup looks great. Do you remember when we did the Stamparia plaques? What if I took the blue and kind of the lilac which are opaque and kind of the, where's the green and the sagey green color. And I have one of my plaques. Now I'm gonna leave my plaque attached to the backing to it. I'm gonna leave it right attached. It's taped down to it and I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna drop some green and I'm gonna drop some blue and I'm gonna drop some purple. So if you've got a Home Depot or a Lowe's that's open and you wanna do coasters for people, you can, cause you can go get inexpensive tile and just do the most beautiful coasters and then let's see what we get. Ready? One, two, three. See, I left it on so that I could dip. Ooh, and then I have, I have a canvas. I, 
you really could go crazy. And there's still time. I'm sure there's still time to do something. It's beautiful, 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 beautiful. What if I took, ooh, what if I took those colors on that gloss paper from Ellison from Sizzix? Ooh, what if I took the, do I have, yeah, I have some of that. Okay, so what if I took some of the blue and what if I put some of the purple? And these are opaque colors, so they're not gonna be as transparent. And I don't even swirl. What if I just go? Ah. Oh, I got my fingers in it. Yeah, I got my fingers in it. Okay, so I got my finger right there. Let's do again. See, I got my finger in there again. Oh. So, so that's my fingerprint right there. Sorry, you guys. And this, this is my fingerprint right there. So, zoop, my fingerprint's gone. And once it dries, it's magnet. Look at that. Look at the look at the veining in there. All on that gloss paper. Makes my heart happy. And then I clean, clean, clean. And what if I just wanted to drop? Literally just drop color. What if I wanted to go red? orange, yellow, only this time I'm not going to swirl, swirl, swirl. I'm going to literally just drop. Now I didn't get it all there and if I wanted to, I could come back in woo, and add a little color to it. But look at that, is that amazing? A little color to it, just so it's not so white. But look at that by just laying it right down on top. Total options, craziness. I, I could be here, literally I told you, I could be here for days playing with this. What if? Let's clean, clean, clean. Oh, I have to call it done soon. I have so many things from the dollar store. <laughs> what if I took some of my, some of my glitter, my, my color shifter, and where's my crystal? Okay, there's my crystal, there's my color shifter. What if I put some of my color shifter? Zoop, 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 zoop. And a little bit of my crystal. And I swirl, swirl, swirled. And I dipped my Dollar Tree butterfly. My Dollar Tree butterfly now has this amazing iridescence to it absolutely amazing in the iridescence Ooh, and it's very slippery <laughs> what if i wanted to add to it what if i i don't know if this is going to work time will tell because i didn't clean out from last time i just i'm just i'm going for it what if, Ooh, slippery Now it's got pink and iridescence. I could just go in there and play with all the colors. And it's got water in it. <laughs> Dollar Tree. What makes your heart happy? What is it that you that you want to play with? 
and all I've played with is water so far. Water. Plain old water. Room temperature. Um, uh, distilled if you have hard water. And I just keep cleaning it up with a piece of chipboard that eventually will dry and I could do something with because that's a pretty cool piece. These all are pretty cool pieces. You have tons and tons of options with this, but you have to understand the difference between the different marblings, whether it has just a plain green label, meaning dye based, meaning more transparent, more transparent. Oh, is that beautiful? Or it has a um, uh, opaque green label and it says the word opaque. So it is more well, just that, more opaque. Let's see if I can find a, ooh, this, I love this one. Much more solid. Or it has that color shifter element to it that has that kind of a, a, a metallic green to it that gives you, gives you something like that or like that or like that i know you weren't crazy about the neons maybe but oh my gosh and then look at i dipped this one at the same time i dipped the little tiny canvas and this one remember we just went plop and picked up the circles it's all about what you have that you want to marble and how to make those marbling colors work well within each other. And because of the 20 new colors and the crystal, which again, if you can only afford two marblings, you should at least pick up a crystal at the very, because it then takes each of these, you don't have to pair, oh, open, open, open. You don't have to pair these together every time because you got to use at least two to make them swirl or to make drops. Now you can have red on its own. You can have red and pink together. You can have pink on its own. You can have red and pink and crystal. You've got options with that. And I love it that they now brought it out in the three pack, which is just so much more convenient because you go through a whole lot more of this than almost anything else. Gosh, is there anything? I mean, we did it on, oh, look at that just on a dollar store glass vase. Look at the iridescence we added to it, just by dipping. It's amazing. So, okay, and my hands, I need to wash them. If I wash my hair, it will all come out. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, I just, it just makes my heart happy. I just wanna try that. I wonder what these would look like on, hmm. No, I need to get back to, I, I need to finish up. I, I, I would sit here all day long and do nothing but play if I could. I really would, but I've got such beautiful samples to show you. Remember we did this one in the first, and I did some of these a little bit earlier. There's one color. There's the red with crystal on the glitter. There's the red with crystal on the Sizzix glitter, all dry amazing and this is that light taupey color on the white glitter and here's crystal on red with red on the glossy paper and here's oh yeah look at that how beautiful is that that's that green and the purple with crystal on glossy paper mm -mm -mm. and they're so inexpensive okay so i'm gonna put this out of my way good luck right Oh my goodness gracious, don't drop it, Stacy. Don't drop it. So I'm gonna tell you that first off, they're really they're very inexpensive to purchase the, the marblings. We have them on sale um, at 30% off. So for the 12 or 20 new colors, 30% off, and the kits are 30% off. But if you buy the I want it all of the neons, 
and you do the I want it all bundle it has to be the I want it all bundle now it's 40% off and if we do if you do the I want it all on the color shifters and it has to be the I want it all bundle then it's 40% off and if you do the I want it all of the these are original of the nine new colors then it's 40% off and if you do like I said the three pack these are 30 percent so or it, there is going to be one that's I want it all and it's every color all 20 new colors and again 40 percent off and I think they retail for $3.39 and $4.39 so 40 percent off is, is quite a is quite a big savings but gosh I hope I taught you something today I really did because it's so important you know how to use them and why they are the way they are and maybe why they don't work the way you think they should if you thought that that um, that the uh, neons should go on the black it just can't it won't it's too transparent it's a dye based ink but if you thought that the the blues can go on the black so magnificently and then the color shifters on the black is just rock star but you're not limited to paper you're only limited if you can dip it you can do it really if you can dip it you can do it you have got true options and then the spellbinders dies on top of that letting you cut that chipboard so what do we have on sale for you today we've got all of the marabou marble the 20 new colors the older colors are not on sale we've got the kits for you that are on sale i've got the spellbinders dies that are at an incredible price um i've got the chipboard so i've got uh new sizes brand new chipboard these the smaller ones are meant to go on an a2 card do i have an a2 card here somewhere ah. let's see if i've got an a2 card somebody had to have made an a2 card right nope that's an a6 claire did you make an a2 card Bless your cotton socks. So, her card is an A2 card. The chipboard leaves you just a little bit of a border so you could dip that entire piece of chipboard. Did I do that somewhere? You could dip <laughs> that entire piece of chipboard. Put it onto your A2 card uh, this is remember this is the throwaway piece stamp some flowers over here put a sentiment and it it's meant to leave just a little bit of a border of white around your a2 card so that if your a2 card bases are slightly different than the size that i manufacture they're still gonna work that's the only reason why i did this chipboard is so you could use it right away and you don't have to trim it down to fit an a2 card yay okay I have got so many samples to show you. And then of course we've got the Sizzix opulent paper, which is almost gone. We're almost out of it. So, and I'm not exactly 100% sure when it's coming back, but if you haven't picked up the opulent paper from Sizzix, you really should. And then you need to run to the dollar store, whatever dollar store is still open and you can get into because you are gonna want it. You're gonna see everything in a different light at the Dollar Tree, truly you are. Okay, let me talk samples because I've got so many of them. Well, first off, this is Claire, and she said just slide this off. And the strips were marbled, and she made a little note set for somebody. And the strips are what she marbled, and she embossed it. She used an embossing uh, folder. All these are Claire, and it's the strip that she marbleized. So she used the crystal. just to add a little element so pretty okay then let's see I bet, well I don't know who's or who's anymore but that's okay can you see how gorgeous that is the whole background is marbleized The whole background 
is marbleized. The entire background was marbleized. And then she marbleized a piece and then die cut happy birthday out of the neons. So she did a sheet of paper with the neon and then she went in and she die cut the word, the letters happy birthday. I told you they're bright and they're happy. Is that not the cutest card? And then here she used one of the dies from Spellbinders, the leaf die. And look at how regal and majestic that is. This whole piece back is marbleized as is the leaf. Oh. oh my gosh, look at how gorgeous is this. And look at the marbleized on there. Right on the tag, and that's the tag we use today. And I think it's either $3.99 or $4.99 for that steel rule die. And I wanna say it started at either $19.99 or $21.99. How cute is this? And look at the color change. Oh, these are so pretty. Grab the next set of samples. These are so beautiful. These were made by Marabou for me. Isn't that gorgeous? And that is with the neon. And then look at here, just the cutest little die cut flower that you can then do a little clip to. All marbleized. And look at the cute tag, again with the neons. They just scream happy. And here, this was done with the color shifter and that taupey color. Oh. And it's marbleized. And then here they used one of my dies and they marbleized the paper, the black paper, and then die cut my water die out of it. Really pretty. The iridescence is, I know the camera doesn't get it, but it's the, it really is just beautiful. And here, the alcohol inked here. I think the alcohol inked, yes. And they marbleized here. Oh, Marabou, Mary, and your team, you guys did the most amazing ever. Just beautiful. And then, wait for it. Oh, how cute are these? <laughs> right, and you have to use, to get the negative space, you've got to use the crystal. So this one, they didn't use crystal on, and it doesn't have any negative space. This one has negative white space because that's where the crystal was. And it kept the marbling from adhering there. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, let's see these. I have got so many samples. Die cut. So I bet these are paper flowers that she, that Doris had handy and she marbleized them. Anything, if you can dip it, you can do it. And look at how beautiful is this with the taupes and the, the rose golds. These are all done with the newest colors. We use the newest colors only. But then look at it. Oh, she did it three ways. Then here you have it in that sagey green. And then you have it with the color shifters. Same layout, and then you have it, oh, beautiful, in the blues. I don't know, pretty smart. Same card, by or four completely different looks. I get endorsed at these, completely different looks. And then look at this. Bam! Using just the strip. And she used, uh, she die cut the word hugs and marbleized hugs. 
and then hello sunshine and she used the can you see the embossing folder of the rays coming up and then here we have under the sea which happens to be mine <laughs> that's my mermaid and my dye we're sold out I think I'm sure <laughs> And then you've been so kind. And she did the flowers, marbleized the flowers, and then die cut. And she did the ribbon. She marbleized the ribbon. And here, a flamingo, of course. It's our new mascot, I think. She's, she's got, I don't know how the flamingo thing happened. She's going to have to tell me one day but she also marbleized the ribbon to match. And look at the feather. The feather's been marbleized, the background's been marbleized and embossed. She even marbleized the little embellishment here. Then we go into some of the pretty little doodads, the plaques. So pretty. And a coaster. Done with the neon and black. And cute three little tag set. Oh, okay. I hate to do that, but three little tags, four. Is there four? There's four tags there. Just darling. And look at this one. Cute little tag that we used today, only she used acetate and marbleized the acetate and the tag. And then when you lift it up, you have congratulations. Yes, acetate, sure, why can't you? It's plastic, dip away. And then we have our monogram from the Dollar Tree, dipped in the uh, color shifter, or shifting, sh color shift colors. Backside's done too, because we dipped. <laughs> Put a magnet on the back of these and make it a magnet. And a plastic soap dispenser. And a butterfly votive. Everything starts from the dollar store. <laughs> And a simple little votive. If you've got a party coming, well, not coming up, but a wedding, oh my gosh, what you can do. And look at here are some of the tiles done in the neons. And a bezel made into a necklace dipped in. Claire did a picture frame with little little owls on them, but the background has all been marbleized. And then Doris, bless her pea picking heart, did a layout. Photo, photo, photo. You've got marbleized embellishment here, marbleized embellishment here and each tag has been marbleized. You want to incorporate it into your layouts? Absolutely. So, the last thing I have to show you are some samples just to give you an idea. 
So this is pearl white, and it shows you what it looks like on white versus black. And this is green, red, gold, number nine, uh, 729, on black and on the white. And we used crystal for all of this to be able to do this. This is 728, blue, gold, green. So this is some of the color shifter on black and on white. And this is number 516, blue, green, gold. <laughs> on black and on white. And here we have Green, violet, silver, 727. Just so you can see, gosh, the colors are beautiful. And this is violet, blue, green. And it just really depends upon, I wish the camera could get it, how you move this. This color goes from blue to violet to green. And then we have 730, teal, silver, red. So you can kind of see it shifting. So we showed it on both so you could see what happens if you put it on white or black. Now here you have rose gold. And that's 734. And here you have 781 antique silver. These are the opaque, so you can see that they're on both. And here we have uh, 087 copper. Again, opaque. It's going to go on the black and it's going to go on the white. And here we have the neon orange. Not so much on the black, but looks fabulous on the white and the neon uh, yellow and the neon green oh my goodness gracious and the neon pink and another color shifter green red golds 517. So you can see it on there. It's just very subtle compared to the black. And here's an opaque. This is gray. So you can see how it looks on the two different materials. I love this color. This is the taupe. Yep, this is the rose taupe. Love the rose taupe. Well, I love the rose, the sage, the blue, and the purple. Woo! Here's that sagey color. They're calling it mistletoe. Here's the purple they're calling lilac. All done with the, um, with the crystal to get the look. And last but not least, the gray blue. Okay, holy smokes artichokes, I need to tilt up. So you can see why I said I could do this for five hours and still be here and still be YouTubing, I could. I could do this all day long, there's so much more I could show you, but time does, there has to be a cutoff point. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> where are you going to find all of this great product? Well, hopefully you have a dollar store someplace handy that you can go just crazy with because it's a dollar. But for the Marabou Marbles, uh, right now I think you pretty much have to shop with us. There's very few places that have it right now. Um, but the chipboard, if you have chipboard, use your chipboard. Otherwise, mine is great. You'll love it, I promise. And the Spellbinder dies are a rock star price not to be missed. So is the opulent paper from Sizzix. It's a not to be missed item because I have used it so many different times in so many different ways. You are going to get value out of that white opulent paper. Okay, it's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you all tomorrow. It is 9.30 p.m. I now have to go and load this. Ah! <laughs> Hopefully it loads in time. Bye everybody. I I hope you learned something and I hope that what I bring to the table you deem valuable. I know I appreciate what you bring to the table.
Bye, everybody.